Hey guys, I want to make this video because I couldn't find any solid information on making a custom mask in Final Cut Pro. After creating videos on how to make Vortex Star Trails, I want to take it to the next level by adding time-lapse video to a still photograph. So let's get started by opening up Final Cut Pro. Import your photo and videos to Final Cut Pro and drag them to the timeline below. Put the photo above the video so that it's the top visible layer. Next, you want to make the photo the same length and time as the video is by dragging it. Since we're working with two different dimensions, you're going to have to rescale the photo so it's the same as the videos. Go to the transform box and move the scale, the scale slider. Once that's done, go to the effects browser. You're going to find mask, then click on draw mask and drag it into the photo layer. A new box appears that says draw mask. Now you can click on your workspace and start to draw a custom mask, then mask out basically whatever you don't want. I'm going to do a quick outline to show you and uh, when you're doing this I recommend you zoom in for better accuracy. A little box will appear in your workspace and this will help you navigate when you're zoomed in. So we're going to do 150%. Sometimes I like to go up to 200 and even 400. Also you can play around with feather and the other buttons to achieve the effect you're going for. So just bear with me as I complete this quick trace. I'm tracing outside the work area just so I don't miss anything. Um, you don't want any weird artifacts for the final video. Also, I do make it a lot more detailed. This was just a quick edit. Once you've completed the mask, click on the video layer and then rescale that into the position that you would like it, also the size that you would like it. Scrub through your video, uh, make sure that it's in the position you want. And when you're all done and you like the results, just uh, save the video using Compressor if you have it or use the share option. And uh, I like to use master file as the default. Save it to the size video you would like and you're good to go. Thank you for watching this video. I hope it helps you out. If you would like to learn more about creating Vortex Star Trails, please click on the link. Um, thank you guys so much, and please like and subscribe to my page. Uh, keep on creating art, and keep on shooting. Take care. Bye.